February the 18th. We'll begin our free council meeting now. Uh, tonight we'll have opening prayer by, by uh, Pastor Rick LaBelle at Marshall Street Church of God. Our Pledge of Allegiance will be by Chief Turner. Our, uh, we'll approve our minutes of the February the 4th meeting. Everyone should receive those. We'll approve the agenda for tonight. There's no public hearing tonight. Then we'll go through the reports from our standing committees. There are no reports from special committees tonight, and there's no unfinished business. The first item uh, on the agenda tonight is a resolution to authorize the mayor to execute an amendment number two with Garver LLC for the Midfield Parallel Taxiway Rehab Project at our, at our airport. I know uh, we've got a representative from uh, Garver here tonight. I believe uh, Jennifer, is that correct? That's right. Al, Jennifer, do y'all want to come up and just sort of tell us about it? It's a change to the project, I think. <coughs> um, as y'all are aware, we're doing the Midfield Taxiway uh, Rehab Project and it's just about completed. Uh, there have been many weather delays, as you can imagine, with the weather we've had this past year. That has made the project go extremely long. Um, that makes the engineers have to stay on the job longer than they intended to. Uh, the good news is the construction's coming in under budget, uh, but the extension of time is going to cause uh, the engineers to ask us for a little bit more money, and if Jennifer would like to talk about that. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Jennifer. Hi. My name is Jennifer Harp. I'm with Garber, and I'm the project manager for the Midfield Parallel Taxway Rehabilitation Project. Um, as you know, we've had quite a few weather delays this year, things have drug on. And towards the end of the project, we actually ended up adding a little bit of electrical work to go ahead and complete the taxiway circuit and make sure that it was better insured to last longer for you. Um, originally, we had a 75-day construction window allotted, and we had a, an 11-day time suspension over the 4th of July holiday. Um, that allowed us to leave the airport normally open over the holiday weekend so we still had to have, have holiday traffic come through and, and not impact the airport in the city as much. And then we pushed our closures after that. Um, however, we were scheduled to wrap up at the beginning of August, August 7th actually. And with the weather delays and, and other delays through the project, it actually ended up being November before we finished the project. Um, realizing how close we were on money and time, we actually spoke with the city and um, kind of backed off our schedule as far as inspections. We, we didn't have someone on site every day because we were down to electrical work. It was not something that needed an on site inspection every day. So we reduced our amount of visits and, and tried to keep it closer to within budget. But we did go over, and so we're asking for a contract amendment to cover the additional engineering oversight and inspection fees for that time frame. Um, like I said, the project was originally scheduled to be 75 days, and by the end of it, it ran to about 242. Calendar days. Cal yes, calendar days. Yeah. So that extended your engineering time. To it did. But like I said, we scaled back the amount of time that we intended to spend here and, and corresponded with, with Mike at the airport closely and uh, kept everything right in as much as we could. So this contract amendment is considerably less percentage wise than the initial contract was. Any questions for Jennifer? questions for Jennifer? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The second item of business is a resolution to authorize funding for a TH Marine FLW Bass Fishing League tournament for March the 9th of this year. We'll ask Ed Calori to come up and 
just to talk to us about this one. It's, uh, it's one I think that it came up, uh, I asked Ed today, this wasn't uh, presented to us last year during our budget process. It came in on, in November, I think, when they initiated, when they contacted Ed. Then they didn't get the paperwork from Ed until late January. So, Yeah, they uh, had a conversation with them towards the end of last year, November, uh, requesting permission that they thought they could get funding for it. They submitted the paperwork in mid-January. I wasn't out about it. <coughs> was two weeks ago, the high school, I did. they had 280 boats, but they had three people per boat, but they had mamas and daddies and grandparents there. Yes. <laughs> that's where you really fill up yeah. the bank. You know, these yeah. tournaments that just have two guys, yeah, that's a little different than that's families, right. you know, you know that. Yeah, no, <laughs> let's go right. after these family type tournaments. We'll try our best. So. Anyway, no, that's a, it's been good. So. Any questions? Or appreciate y'all's consideration. One thing Ed and I talked about was probably take, possibly taking this out of tourism budget that we've allocated, but I, I had second thoughts on that because we really haven't, you know, we hadn't hired our director yet. I, would, I was going to give an update on that in just a minute anyway. Sure. So we haven't really established that yet. So I think we ought to go forward out of our out of our budget tonight and we'll look forward to that. Thank you. We'll see how the group wants to do. Sounds good. I appreciate your Thank consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Third item of business is a resolution to amend the authorization list uh, in our water department and our well out of this water plant. And, uh, it would just be a, it'd be amending our budget by thirteen thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars for this year, 2018-19 budget. I'll ask Kathy to come up and give us an overview explanation of what we want to go to a, a, a full-time position here for this uh, category four person versus a part-time today. We've lost our part-time person. He, he was already retired and he came back work part time and he's really retired now. Is that right? right. Was right. that Jerry Brown? Was it Jerry? It was. It was. Yeah. His wife worked with me a lot at Russell. Okay. So anyway, I was glad yeah. Jerry did that for us. But anyway, we need a full time person. We do, and I know that everybody agrees that our water treatment is just one of the most crucial components of our community's health and vitality. And uh, of course, with that, there are certain ADM requirements as far as staffing. You must have two certified or qualified operators on each shift. And we're, we're barely meeting that right now. And uh, Mr. Bramlett would fill in from time to time when there would be absences or vacations. And uh, so we're sore, sorely understaffed right now um, to the point that um, we've asked employees to work overtime. These are 12 hour shifts, so it's tough to work two 12 hour shifts back to back. That causes a safety issue as well as a large number of overtime hours. Um, so we are asking, or we think that it would be imperative for adequate staffing to have this part time um, bumped up to a full time qualified operator position. The other piece of that is, is that qualified operators are not easy to find. Right. Um, it's a long process to become qualified, a very difficult test, and you just can't find them. As a result, we currently at the facility have three trainees 
right now that, um, again, that are not qualified to be on a ship alone. So um, we have luckily identified a couple of retired <coughs> operators that say they would like to come here. So if that pans out, we want to take advantage of that opportunity to get them in. And we certainly have the need. certain types of new businesses within the historical downtown business district. I'll ask Al to come up. Uh, Y'all got the paperwork that was sent. I know that uh, in 2011, the ordinance was created that created the historical district downtown that was in the city. And uh, if y'all saw that map, you know where it goes. And, uh, it's, but uh, when you look in hindsight, this is our city attorney telling me this today. He said we should have gone ahead and, and looked at this and that then, that time. To look at what, should there be any restrictions, should there be any, uh, what type of businesses are likely excluded or not only in that historic district to keep the integrity of the historical district. What you're trying to do. So, Al, I'll let you speak up. Our historic district downtown is zone B3. There are other areas in town, uh, like out on 280, some of those areas are zone B3. It's, it's basically a highly retail zone. <clears throat> right as it stands right now, the historic district B3 is the exact same thing as the 280 corridor B3. So anything that can come in on 280 could come in to downtown. Um, what this would do would put a temporary uh, moratorium, and I will tell you, I will read to you, businesses such as vape tobacco shops, payday loan businesses, advanced car title loan businesses, check cashing or cash and go businesses, liquor, beer, package stores, home shops, pet food parlors, and arcades. Those businesses and other such businesses, uh, would, if this passes tonight, there would be a moratorium where they would not be able to uh, get a business license while a group uh, which would include uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission, myself, in coordination with the Historic Preservation Commission, Main Street LSD and the Chamber evaluate the businesses that are downtown. Do we have enough of these? Do we have too many of these? Do we have not enough of these? Figure out what our zoning, could, could, should we change our zoning to limit certain types of businesses? Certainly if this passes tonight, it would be for a year. This would not be permanent. It would not affect any established businesses that are already there. This would only be to, to determine if a change to the zoning was needed in the future. It would not change the zoning as of tonight. Questions for Al? I guess my only question is after a year, if it's deemed to restrict those businesses, would the established business be able to remain there until the doors closed and then there would be new, new existing? There would be no changes for any existing businesses that would be able to stay as long as they stayed active. So say, say Angie. So if he sold to somebody else, is it still active or is it, does that end with him? Like he decides he can't change. That's just, that's just one thing. Um, that is still being discussed. I understand that, it's my understanding, Madam correct me if I'm wrong, that if you buy a business from somebody and you keep it active, then it continues on. Is that I thought what I was your understanding? Change ownership. I was understanding that if there's a possibility, if there's a change of ownership, then they would not be grandfathered in. But um, that wasn't being considered because it was right. stated in the meeting that why would we do that when you're trying when someone's trying to sell a business as that market, why would you try to stop them being able to profit from selling their business as a market space for them to open up? I think this is so something we're gonna discuss yes, as we discuss the rest of it because I could go to somebody downtown today and have no idea about this and it could 
pay, try to buy their business. Mm -hmm. And then find out on the back end mm -hmm. that when it changed ownership, that I was no longer able to operate. So that is going to be something we can, we're going to consider because we don't want to go into this blind and do something that we have to come back and change or that we regret doing. We want to make sure we get it right. Or hinder any type of business exactly. when it comes to business. Hinder your business in that way. This, this mostly, this just not be, fall on everything right. right. And, and the idea is to prevent new businesses for a year if they fall in this category not to in any way damage anybody who's already there. Thank you, Al. We'll have comments. Oh, well, Mayor's not here tonight. He's, he's uh, he can't, could not make it. Uh, we have comments from our finance director, city clerk, and council, and we'll adjourn the meeting. Please stand. This will begin our regular meeting of our council on uh, February the 18th. I would ask uh, Chief Turner, he's going to say, the, we'll ask, first of all, I ask the opening prayer by Pastor Rick LaVale of Marshall Street Church of God and then Chief Turner to do that. Pledge of Allegiance. Father, we just thank you for your goodness and mercy. Lord, we thank you for another day of life and bread you have blessed us with. Now, Lord, we come only through your throne of grace asking for the petition that you would lead us and guide us and direct us in the business of our city. Lord, that we would do things that are pleasing in your sight and that would be beneficial for our community to grow and to prosper. Now, Lord, we ask that you would just give divine direction to the men and women in power, that they would make those right decisions, or not solely based upon their desire, but for the desire of the people and for the strength of our community. Well, Lord, we thank you again for the privilege to be able to serve you openly in this country. We thank you for the men and women in blue that protect us. And Lord, we thank you for those that are leading us. And we also thank you for giving them wisdom. And in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Discussion on those. Roll call vote. Mr. Tapley? Yay. Ms. Cobbin? Yay. Mr. Hardy? Yay. Mr. Brown? Yay. Yay for me? Yay for me. Our agenda has been presented. No changes. To have a motion to approve the agenda. I make a motion that we approve this agenda for tonight. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mr. Tapley? Yay. Ms. Cobbin? Yay. Mr. Hardy? Yay. Mr. Brown? Yay. Yay for me? Yay for me. There's no public hearing tonight. Reports from special from standing committees. Got a couple of reports. I, one is I'll, I'll report on a, a group that I've, I uh, sit in on, I guess representing the city in a way. The mayor's on this group too, and, and any of y'all, you guys are, are welcome to attend. But it's our uh, Clean Community Partnership group. And I don't know, there's probably 10, 10 or 12 people in that, in that group. Uh, John Thompson is our leader, and he's the cleanup man at Evans City. We all know that. He is, and, and Jacob actually participates heavily. Jacob does all of our, a lot of our uh, putting meetings together and getting all the, all the information out there to everyone. And you know, we this is a, a monthly event. It takes place on the third Saturday of every month. And uh, Jacob, when I asked, told Jacob I would share tonight. This past uh, Saturday, had a very successful cleanup uh, with all the trash. Over, over 40 volunteers came out and picked up 103 bags of trash including Comer Street, Recreation Drive, Jefferson Street, Old Dable Highway, Coley Creek, Commerce Street, Airport Road, Washington Street, Coburn Abbott, Old Dark Road, Robinson Road, Highway 280, Highway 63 South, and Highway 22 East. So that was scattered all over the city, all those different locations. Uh, the volunteer groups included fifth grade campfire girls, students with a swag, Students with a goal, they call SWAG. Uh, the Yes I Can mentoring team and the Clean Community Partnership volunteers. Uh, the next pickup will be, uh, trash pickup will be on the third Saturday in March, which is March the 16th. And that's going to be on the Elkahatchee Road cleanup. 
and it'll be hosted at Kenneth Boone's home. And I understand that's a Kenneth does a good job of hosting people. I don't know he does refreshments and things, right? Ed or Jacob? No, been right. there, so. Breakfast and lunch, I believe. Okay. Right. So uh, anyway, we want to invite everybody. If y'all would spread the word to your friends and family and your churches and your civic groups, please. Third Saturday of the of the month. Another thing I want to report on is the uh, we, we uh, approved several months ago creating a, a tourism entity in our area, and uh, so that has uh, the it, it takes some time to go through the legal process as y'all know with anything, but the uh, the articles of incorporation. So that group has been incorporated now, and it's a 501c6, and uh, now the bylaws are being worked on. And actually, the first board meeting of the group is this Wednesday. Uh, this Wednesday morning, eight o'clock. Anyone is welcome. You guys are welcome to attend if you'd like to. But that's uh, to review the bylaws and maybe approve the bylaws and actually look at a job description uh, for the direct executive director. And then we'll start looking, I guess, for you know, for an executive director. So I would expect to have that. Uh, I don't know, Ed, what you're thinking. But I'm thinking in the next four to six to eight weeks, have something going there. Uh, the meeting's at the Innovation Center. That's all I had. Uh, Public Safety Committee, Mr. Tapley. No report. Utilities Committee, Mr. Funderburg. No report. Parks and Rec, Mr. Hardy. No report. Public Works, Mr. Brown. No report. Building the Properties, Ms. Collins. No report. There's no report from Special Committees and no unfinished business. Let's move on to new business. Uh, item number one. A resolution to authorize the mayor to execute amendment number two with Garber LLC for the Midfield Parallel Taxiway Rehabilitation Project. I need a motion to approve the proposed resolution. Make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Roll call vote, Mr. Tapley. Yay. Ms. Collin. Yay. Mr. Hardy. Yay. Mr. Brown. Yay. Yay for me. Yay for me. Item number two. A resolution to authorize funding for the TH Marine FLW Bass Fishing League Tournament for March 9, 2019. Then a motion to amend our 2018-19 budget by $2,500. Make the motion we amend our 2018-19 budget to $2,500. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote, Mr. Tapley. Yay. Ms. Collin. Yay. Mr. Hardy. Yay. Mr. Brown. Yay. Yay for me. Yay for me. Now I need a motion to approve the proposed resolution. Make a motion that we approve the resolution for the um, TH Marine Bass Fishing League Tournament. There a second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mr. Tapley. Yay. Ms. Collin. Yay. Mr. Hardy. Yay. Mr. Brown. Yay. Yay for me. Yay for me. Item number three. A resolution to amend the authorization list. I need a motion to amend the 2018-19 budget by the amount that we said, $13,330 some odd dollars. I make a motion that we amend the budget by the amount listed. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote, Mr. Tapley. Yay. Ms. Cobb. Yay. Mr. Hardy. Yay. Mr. Brown. Yay. Yay for me. Yay for me. Now I need a motion to approve the proposed resolution. I make a motion to approve the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? We'll call vote, Mr. Tapley. Yay. Ms. Cobb. Yay. Mr. Hardy. Yay. Mr. Brown. Yay. Yay for me. Yay for me. Item number four. A resolution to approve a temporary moratorium <coughs> for one year for certain types of business, new businesses within the historical downtown business district. I need a motion to approve the proposed resolution. Make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote, Mr. Tapley. Yay. Ms. Cobb. Yay. Mr. Hardy. Yay. Mr. Brown. Yay. Yay for me. Yay for me. Comments from our finance director. No comments. Comments from our city clerk. Just about all of you registered for the legislative day. Yeah, you, you oh, gotta yeah. get your own rooms. Because <laughs> yeah. if you would get your rooms, I'll get you registered.
Exactly. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. And uh, continue to keep our police officers in your prayers. We've had another shooting here the last week in Auburn. So these guys are putting a lot on the line. They've been shot in. Stacy, Jeff, Cody, we ever introduced you to the? Do you, would you like to say anything? I know we're glad to have Stacy on as our executive director. Yeah, no, you, you ain't got to speak. But Stacy's our new executive director of Main Street. We're glad to have her, and I just I know she's already she started hit the ground running. Jerry, Jerry, man. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Now I just uh, I just echo what everybody else has said. Any other comments? I have a motion to adjourn. I have a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Be opposed. I like sign. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>